Okay, lovey dovies, here we are back with sessions three and four, part two of the video to make Crazy Craft 3 work. And just to let you know, video. it does work. Instead of you guys just having to read a blank screen, which is not fun, I'm just gonna talk. And sorry, there's nothing like fantastic to look at. Maybe I'll pop up some cute stuff, but I wanted to read my commentary to you because I did not actually end up leaving this on the Void's Wrath forum because I was able to get it to work by myself. But I wanted to show you how many steps I took. And this was about mm, 45 minutes. Okay, so basically, I currently, at the point of this, I kept getting a pop-up saying that there was a update available. First time I hit yes, nothing happened. I had to force quit and relaunch for the main launcher screen to come up and then noticed that was in the background. I tried to hit yes, and again, it disappeared and it closed the launcher. I waited several minutes just in case it was downloading or working on updating the background but nothing happened. I then closed it down and relaunched again. The above happened again and I just ignored the pop-up at that point and tried to play. And then I, I noted when I very first downloaded, it did actually work as you know in the previous video, but it was very, very laggy. The FPS was way less than 10. At this point, it started the downloading screen, which it didn't do before. But then I changed my settings to give it more RAM and then I kept getting it reloading. I think I tried it four times and each time it got longer. It went four minutes, then it took like five, then it took like seven minutes, but nothing happened. Then I relaunched again after changing the allocation to the RAM. And then it started the downloading screen, which it didn't do before, because remember it went to straight just 0% and then launch. This time it did the whole thing through, okay? I was confused at that point. Then I was relieved seeing that it was downloading all the data. But then at the first time it happened and I launched it, then I got a chicken core error. At that point, I had to force quit the Javas and the launcher. I tried again, I got the same error. At that point, there was a link in the error to update or fix that. When I clicked on that, the link also, that web page was not working. So I, I I didn't know what to do. At that point, I force quit everything. I shut down my computer and I tried again. The same pop-up showed for needing the update and I tried one more time to play. And at this point, I kept the update notice in the background. This time, the game screen came up with no issues. I got the notification that there was an update available for the mobs. Now, the chicken code error happened twice. I was like, forget this, shut everything down, restart my computer. Okay, this is where we start up again. When I did that, the pop-up for the update showed again and I tried one more time to play and I kept the update notice this time in the background, just leaving it. The game screen came up with no issues. So yeah, I was able to create the new world and that's when the breaking blocks issue came up. I tried three or four times and it broke, but who wants to play like that? I don't. So at that point, I just shut down, I, I quit, shut down the launcher, and I was able to do that without force quitting, and then I relaunched to start another world. The pop-up showed again. This time, starting the mob pack screen was stuck on 0%, which is the big black bar at the top, and I was unable to close it by hitting the cancel button, but I hit the X button and that worked. I again closed the launcher all together before restarting and I made sure first to log into minecraft.net. I hit play again on the Crazy Craft mod pack and then it again still stuck on 0%. Wouldn't do anything, just some blue bars going crazy. It was glitching out on the 0% screen. I hit the yes button on the pop-up that said I needed an update to see if maybe it would make it fix and out of the glitch, but it shut down and I had to force quit again. Uh, yeah, look at all my little red errors because I was just typing like a crazy person. So what I did at this point, I copied all the information I was putting into the forum, copied it because I didn't want to forget all of this and put it in my notepad. Oh, I force quit. I didn't put it here. Force quit and then I hit shut down not restart. And then I waited like a minute or two and then started my computer again. This time when the launcher screen came up, I hit no to the update. Nothing happened. It went away. But in the status bar down here, the Java was still here. Uh, it, it's still up here just because I'm still in the game. So that was still down there, but nothing was happening. I clicked on it, nothing popped up. So this time before what I tried to do, and I'm not going to do it now and scare that it's going to go, I right clicked and quit that time it actually quit before every other time before this i had to force quit the launcher java 
Okay, so then, yeah, obviously, like I said, I was able to right-click and close, but I decided to restart my computer again. I think, guys, I'm on my fifth restart on my computer. The update screen came again, and I left it alone. I did not touch it. I put my login information in, as you need to do in the launcher, and then the, again, which I called the death bar of black, saying downloading. I put, <laughs> look, it says mud pack. Mod pack came up again with the glitching blue bars back and forth, and it just stays at 0%. There is a cancel button, and I hit it, it closed, and then I was back on the launcher screen. I hit play again, got the same freaking issue. So at this point, I hit the reinstall button and it launched the forge loading screen immediately giving me hope. You guys, do you see how many steps I've had to take at this point? Then Crazy Craft 3 play screen came alive again, just popped up. So instead of creating a new world, what I did was try to play the previous world that I created before. The reason I did this was number one, to see if it would launch and to see if the glitch of trying to break blocks would fix and that's when I recorded this just to see if there was glitches so I can post it on the forum. Well, this time it loaded fine and I got the same issue, but instead of closing out the world when I got the issue, I decided to keep playing and it actually resolved the issue. So you guys don't give up hope. It's working. It's the, I mean, again, the FPS is it's at 50. I apologize for any wonky views, but again, it's really hard to record a computer screen with any kind of camera. Right. But I, now, this is what happened. I tried to break it. It did not disappear. <gasps> again. Not disappearing. Again. Not disappearing. Okay, so the third time, as it stands again, it took three tries to get that block to break. Let's try grass. Grass, grass. Okay, so that time it took two, but it lagged. I'm in peaceful, so there's a witch down here. Let's go ahead and see what happens when I try to hit her. Okay, I hit her. Uh, there's a little lag on hitting, but you know what, she's going. Oh, she's trying to poison me, that's okay. Well, she she's getting hit and she's moving back, so there's no glitch when it comes to mobs, okay? Let's go ahead and try sand. Sand goes away immediately, so maybe it was just an initial glitch. Let's try wood again. Oh, look, it's stampy. Let's try here again. Okay, it went away immediately. So at this point, I'm pretty happy. It looks like it was just initial a glitch. Oh, look at her coming after me. What are you going to do? I'm in peaceful. You can't do anything. You can't harm me. Go away. So I'm feeling pretty good. I'm going pretty fast. Uh, there's no chunk loading errors. I mean, let's check my FPS. And I'm recording at this time, remember. FPS is doing pretty good. Okay, again, I haven't played Crazy Craft in so long. There's so many things, you guys. Yeah, as soon as I get all these weird glitchy glitches out, um, we're gonna play. We're gonna do we're gonna do a series. But here's what I'm telling you. I don't even know how to say it. This video of me trying to work through all these issues, only however many minutes it is long, but it is now 7.45 and I've been working on this since 4 p.m. So it's been over three and a half hours working through glitches on my own without any help trying to figure this out. So if you're frustrated and want to give up, I completely understand, especially if your FPS is any lower than this, there's really no point of you playing. I mean, unless you just enjoy it, but trying to record, you're not going to be able to do it. And I'm super sorry. I know the normal YouTube videos, you want high quality recording, but I mean, if you're just wanting to play with friends or whatever, you know what, I'll, tr I'll try and figure out some, some things, alternatives that maybe you can do to record this if you're having problems to maybe give you better output. But you know, it's still cool, you know, to play on your own or with friends as an open server. You can open this to a LAN server if your friends also have, uh, you know, the void launcher and this mod pack installed. You guys can play together. I've done that before. Just don't give up, you guys. Like I said, I've done the footwork for you. I've gone through all these glitches and I've made it work and you can too and if all these steps that I've taken aren't working for you and you're still having problems you guys I'm here for you leave a comment basically if you're having glitches though 
because of the work that I do in real life, the main things that people like me, developers, testers, we do need um, screenshots, number one, of the error that happens. Also, a video example is best. And just a URLs. If there's a URL that you're coming to that's making a problem because of downloading or whatever it is, that URL would be really helpful as well. But I'm here to help. That's That's what I do. That's what I'm here for. So... I hope this has helped you guys. Like I said, it has taken me almost four hours to get this to work properly. So I could imagine how frustrated any of you would be if you've never had to do this before. So lovey doveys, you can watch my series. Not sure what I'm going to call it yet. I'm not sure when it's going to launch, but I am going to do this, especially now that I have this on my super more beefy computer. That that's it at this point. I'm sorry if this is a lengthy video, but that like I said, there was so much involved that I had to do. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, guys. <laughs> Love you. Bye. Okay, lovey doveys. Now it's time to click the video to be taken to something cool. But before you do, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Also, leave a like and a comment.